Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Jacob Tyler Roberts was born on the 16th of March 1990 in Portland, Oregon, the largest city of Oregon in the United States of America. The identity of his father was unknown and his mother Anne Roberts died from cancer in February 1993, shortly before his third birthday. He was then raised by his aunt, Tammy Roberts. Roberts attended Milwaukee High School in Milwaukee, Oregon for three years. The school had 828 students as of 2018. He then attended Oregon City High School in Oregon City, Oregon for his senior year, a larger school with 1,984 students. He graduated from Oregon City High School at the age of 18 in 2008. At 18, he became estranged from Tammy Roberts, however the exact reason was not known. He then commenced attending Clackamas Community College in Oregon City, Oregon, one of the largest community colleges in Oregon with 25,029 students. Notable alumni included Ron Jones, who has written music for numerous TV shows including Star Trek The Next Generation, DuckTales, American Dad, Family Guy, and the theme tune to Nickelodeon's For Fairly Odd Parents, as well as mixed martial artist Matt Linland, who is known as The Law. Linland won a silver medal in Grego Roman Wrestling at the Sydney 2000 Olympic Games. Commencing in 2010, Robert started working at a gyro restaurant in Portland, where he was a well-liked employee. He lived with a few roommates in a house 10 minutes away from the Clackamas Town Centre. Planning to join the United States Marine Corps, he abandoned this after he broke his foot during a bicycle accident. In the week of the 4th of December 2012, Robert stole a Stag Arm Stag 15 AR-15 style rifle from a friend. He then legally purchased four standard capacity 30 round ammunition magazines and ammunition at Walmart for gun broker and wholesale sports outdoor outfitters. He also quit his job, sold his belongings, and seemed numb. He told friends that he was moving to Hawaii. Robert's ex-girlfriend, Hannah Patricia Sandsburn, age 20, said that he changed dramatically in the week before the shooting and kept her in the pretense that he was moving to Hawaii. Roberts had no criminal history, but on his Facebook page, he had a strong interest in guns and alcohol, listing shooting as one of his interests on Facebook. His Facebook cover photo showed the graffitied words, follow your dreams, with the word cancelled over it. On the 11th of December 2012, he visited a friend. The pair smoked weed, and he claimed that he was going to move to Hawaii. He then drove his 1996 Volkswagen Jetta to the Clackamas Town Centre and parked at the south side on the second floor between Macy's and Chipotle Mexican Grill with the aim of committing a massacre. Running into the mall through the Macy's department store at 3.28pm wearing a hockey mask and a load-bearing vest, armed with an AR-15, he carried five loaded magazines, one of which he dropped in the parking lot while entering the mall. Around 8,000 to 10,000 people were inside the mall. When people first saw Roberts, people believed that it was a paintball outfit and that the rifle was a toy. Standing in the large atrium of the Clackamas Town Centre, he opened fire at the mall's food court. During the shooting, he shouted, I am the shooter. The first person he shot was 54-year-old shopper Cindy Ann Yule, who was a mother of two and a hospice nurse, who was shot in the back. She died despite efforts of bystanders to treat her wound. Roberts then shot 15-year-old Christina Sevchenko, who was walking through the mall with her friends to reach the town centre Max Station. Sevchenko survived and made it out of the Clackamas town centre and was treated for her gunshot wound. Roberts then killed Stephen Forsyth, a 46-year-old, who rented a kiosk in the shopping centre and was a youth sports coach. Forsyth was shot in the head and killed. Hundreds of people left the shopping centre while many remained inside. Roberts then fired at 16-year-old Alin Pavleno, who was 100 feet away but missed. Heading towards the J.C. Penny store, Roberts attempted to reload, but his weapon jammed. Nick Meal, a concealed carry permit holder, drew his Glock 22, took aim at Roberts, but he did not fire, as a bystander was behind Roberts. Meal claimed that Roberts saw him, which contributed to his decision to take his next action. 
Roberts then ran into a back storage corridor where he encountered JCPenney employee Roxane Kim. Kim had just returned from recycling boxes and hadn't heard gunfire. Roberts pointed the rifle at him but did not shoot and instead ran down a flight of stairs onto a lower floor committing suicide at 3.50pm. Police responded and found that Roberts had only fired 17 rounds during the entire shooting with an additional 128 rounds found in the magazines. Three people including Roberts were killed and one was severely injured while several others suffered minor bruises and scrapes while fleeing. So what exactly led Roberts to commit this massacre? Well, he did not target anyone he knew and it is believed that he targeted random individuals. There was no revenge motive. Whether this was a suicide mission or not is unknown. There was initial suspicion that he had trained for the shooting utilising video games, but this was never substantiated. On the 15th of December 2012, President Barack Obama delivered a speech regarding the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting where 28 individuals, including shooter Adam Lanza, were killed on the 14th of December 2012. President Obama referenced other shooting rampages that occurred within previous months, including the shooting at the Clackamas Town Centre. On the 28th of March 2013, a candlelight vigil was held at the Clackamas Town Centre, organised against gun violence to commemorate the National Day of Action to reduce gun violence. It was one of 128 events held nationwide. On the one year anniversary of the massacre, a candlelight vigil occurred on the 11th of December 2013. Thank you for watching, please do yourself a favour and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. Also why not hit that like button and leave a nice comment, it helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.